Good morning. So what we're going to do today is a very simple linear regression. We're going to talk about uh, how this gets done in Excel and not particularly difficult. The first thing we need to do is go up to data on your Microsoft Excel and make sure you have this data analysis tab. If you don't have this data analysis tab, because this is where we're going to actually run the regression, um, you come up here to file and we are going to run our options. And then we're looking for an add-in, so we're going to click on add-ins right here in the middle. Add-ins. Your second. Don't worry about all of this stuff. Skip all of this. Go right straight down to the bottom to manage Excel add-ins. And there's other options here, just Excel add-ins. Go. And you'll see that there are two analysis tool packs. One of them says VBA. That's the virtual basic. We don't want that. We want the regular normal analysis tool pack. Hit OK. Then go back to data. And you should see this data analysis uh, tab surface up here at the top. When it does, you can go ahead and unclick, unselect the entire deal because I must have done that. Um, and let's talk about this data set for just a second. Here we have a data set that describes um, the price of homes or houses in a particular neighborhood. I got this from Kaggle. I think this is Kansas City. And we're going to worry about just one variable, the square foot living uh, in this particular region. Now, this data set has you know, 200,000 observations. I just grabbed the top 15, and we're going to play just with those for a little bit. Matter of fact, what I'd like to do to make this easier for us here in a bit is to take this entire row. Let's take the entire row, and I'm going to copy and paste it um, over here, insert copy cells, so that we have them together. Now, this we before we get started, we have to decide which one is our y, which is our x. In our case, we are going to decide that the y variable is our dollar signs. Okay, so this is going to be the price of the home, and our x variable is going to be the square feet of our home. And there are all these observations. We're hoping that we can predict that the slope of the line will be positive. And so as this guy increases, as square feet gets bigger, so the bigger the house, the higher the price. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're going to try to come up with this line right in here. Okay, That's, our, that's the prediction we're trying to make. So let's go off and try to make this prediction. So let's go to data analysis. And you'll see, you might have to scroll down a little bit to get to the R's, but you'll see one that says regression. Highlight regression, hit OK. When you do that, you'll have all of this data, or all of these choices. Let's go ahead and delete these for a second. Again, we've already decided that our Y range is going to be the price. So all I'm going to do is highlight the Y range, I kind of came short here. Let me go all the way down to the bottom. And that's going to be from D1 to D15. In this case, it automatically locks it up, but no big deal. And my X range is going to be all the data points in square foot of living. In this particular case, I'm hitting labels because I've included the variable name as part of my selection process. If you don't, and you don't have to click on that one, you sometimes get something weird there, and that's why labels will solve that for you. And that's it, I'm not gonna mess with anything else, I'm gonna hit OK. When this guy hits OK, I get a new sheet that has all my regression stuff. And we're gonna skip all those stuff on top for, for now, and we're just gonna focus on the coefficients. And so the coefficients are the manner in which I draw my line, okay? Um, so what I'm going to try to do here is create my y is equal to mx plus b, or the substitution for the coefficients. So this guy right here, I'm just going to use one decimal, is this m, that is the coefficient that goes in front of our x, right, square foot living. And this guy, again, just one decimal, is my y-intercept. So here, what we're saying is, that the price of the house is equal to 202.5, note that this is a positive signed uh, coefficient, times x. But what is our x? Our x is the square feet plus my intercept, 4, 5, 8, 3, 4. And this should be a dollar sign, really, but you get the point. 
And that's it. That's our line. That's the regression. When we get the square foot living coefficient, it goes here. And the other guy goes there. That's it. That's our regression line. Now, I, uh, I hope that was a good example. Um, let's try something in our sample. Uh, let's do square living and price and highlight them down. And let's insert a little scatter plot. And see if that makes sense. Yeah. So here is our price scatter plot. You can see all the dots. You can already tell that there's a regression in here. There's a relationship between the two. And what we do with our with our uh, line graph is that there is some point over here uh, where the y intercept comes into play, and we create a positive line that describes then uh, the slope. So this is going to be my y equals mx plus b. And we're trying to find that line of best fit. So this is going to be price is equal to 202.5, I think it was, times whatever my x variable is, right? So this is square feet, right? So this is times square feet plus b. And I think b was whatever it is, plus b, uh, 100 and 15,000 or whatever whatever it was. I don't remember what it was. Okay, good luck. Hope that works. Hope it helps.